friends welcome back to my channel today we'll make original sweet stall like hot juicy jalebi with some tips and tricks for that i have taken 1.5 cups of all purpose flour maida sift it so that there are no lumps while mixing and our important ingredient is adding sour curd so that the batter gets fermented when you keep it for overnight adding ghee and mix it well to combine now adding warm water to provide proper environment for fermentation now you can keep it overnight or for 16 hours until it gets fermented Yes, it's been 16 hours. We'll open it now. You can see some air bubbles, which is a result of fermentation. And also the batter has become thinner, which indicates a good fermentation. Now we'll add a must ingredient that is butter, which is at room temperature. Here I'm taking 30 grams of butter, adding a pinch of salt and then whisking it well to combine. An important trick to make crispy jalebis are to beat it very well now adding half a cup of maida to balance the soreness of batter adding water to get it to a proper consistency more you beat the batter more good your jelly bees will be now adding few drops of lemon juice and mix it well now adding unflavored eno fruit salt just before you start frying this is the perfect consistency of jalebi when batter starts to free flow and now we'll make sugar syrup here i'm taking two full cups of sugar and a cup of water adding few threads of saffron which is optional and also some cardamom mix it well and add some edible food color here I am taking orange edible food color. Now let us allow it to boil for 7 to 8 minutes. Now our sugar syrup is done when it starts sticking between our fingers. Add few drops of lemon juice so that there will be no formation of sugar crystals. Now adding a magic ingredient that is honey which gives very good taste for your jalebis and it's optional and now we'll start frying our jalebis i have filled the jalebi batter into a milk cover and made a small hole at one corner make sure the oil is hot while you start frying giving it a proper shape lift your hand gradually with this recipe of jalebi with fermented batter, you cannot expect uniformity in shape. Now without disturbing the oil, we'll fry it for 2-3 to three minutes and then flip over. Flip it over with the help of a stick or a chimta. Fry it for 5 to 6 minutes until that beautiful golden brown color forms. Now it's done, we'll remove it draining off the extra oil. all our jalebis into sugar syrup while it is hot you should also note that both sugar syrup as well as jalebi should be hot dip into sugar syrup like this for a minute and take it off on a plate These jalebis have become so heavy with the sugar syrup inside and so crispy from outside. 
and with this beautiful color of jellybees everyone is going to like it i'm sure you're going to try it at home and let me know how it was in the comment section and also let me mention few quick tips of jelly bee making make sure you ferment and whisk the batter well add eno fruit salt just before frying make sure both jelly bees and sugar syrup are hot while mixing so if you have liked my video please hit the thumbs up below share among your friends and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel take care of yourselves until we meet the new tasty recipe have a nice day